This is the LED power factor regulator NV14S. Now I want to explain how to view the info for this regulator. By press and hold mode button for one second, it will straight away go to mode A, which is alarm. When the alarm show here, you can actually refer to this portion to see the definition of the alarm. Next, I want to explain mode B, which is ampere, power factor, voltage, frequency, kilowatt, and kVAR. I press mode button one more time to enter mode B. As here you will see the ampere light is turned on, which means this one is the ampere reading. You press down, this LED will flash, which means power factor. The current power factor is inductive 0 0.95 power factor. When press down again, the voltage LED will light up. The current voltage is 244 volt. When you press one more time, this LED will flash, which means in frequency display, which is 50 Hz. You press one more time, it will show you the watt display in positive direction. And one more time, the VAR LED will flash, which means the display currently is VAR display. And also you can see from here is in inductive. Now I want to explain the mode C1, which is cat utilization hours. By pressing mode button one more time, it will enter into mode C1. And the first cap bank will show you. You press up, you will go to second cap bank. Press up again, go to three until the, left, the following cap bank. For the mode C2, you can view the info for the cap switching counts by pressing the button again. It will go to mood C2 and the first cap band will light up. For this moment, the first cap band has been switched on for four times. You press up again to view for the second cap band, which is now already in third time. You press one more time to see for the third, fourth, fifth and so on. Now we go to mode C3, which is the cap band value in single phase secondary VAR. By press select button again, you will go to mode C3. You, you can see the VAR LED is flashing, which means the first cap band is measured as 24 VAR in single phase. You press up again. To go to number two, cap bank, one more time, up button, number three cap bank, and so on to view all the cap value. Next, I want to expand the THD voltage parameter. By press mode button again, it will display in mode D1. When these two LED didn't flash, which means is in THD voltage. The THD voltage for now is around 1.1%. When press up one time, this LED will flash, which means in harmonic spectrum mode. This is the first harmonic spectrum for the voltage. You press one more time, it will, call, it will show you the second harmonic voltage. One more time, up button, third harmonic. 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, until 15th harmonic.
spectrum mating for the voltage. For the next one, mode T2. By pressing mode button again, we will move to mode D2. And now you can see THD and ampere LED is light up, which means it is a THD ampere reading. For now on, the THD ampere is around 6 by something percent. Then you want to view the harmonic radio, you press up button. This LED will start fresh. For now, the first harmonic ampere is around 0 0.39 amp. You press up again, you go to second harmonic ampere, third harmonic, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, up to fifteen. For the last mode is mode F. By press mode button again, you go to move F function. This is the firmware version for this device. And press one more time. It will display in operation hour. This unit has been operated for 1.75 times 1,000 hours, which means it's around 1.750 hours. Press cancel to exit the info reading.